Hey, what's up, guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. I got the blue checkers with the with the blue watch with the blue shirt in my pocket. Blue faces, you feel me? I ain't got no blue faces. I got a crispy twenty in there. How y'all feeling? Y'all doing all right? You know, today I want to talk to you guys about um, and this is this is really for my basketball fans. I hope a lot of this doesn't go over y'all's head because if you don't watch basketball, you might not know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to bring it all home though, so it makes sense. Okay. Don't blow the layup. What does that mean? Well, basically, what that means is in basketball, when you put yourself in a position to score the ball, morning. When you put yourself in a position to score the ball, right, and you're wide open and you have an opportunity to score. A lot of people, they think they already made it and they feel like I'm already open, this is gonna be so easy and they blow the layup. They shoot the basketball and then ba boing it pops out, bops, drops out of the rim and you don't score. Well, that can feel devastating, blowing the layup. So many missed opportunities in life that we take for granted. Things that we thought would be in the bag. Think back. It's been a lot of times, I'm sure, for me definitely, where you just blew the layup. You had a perfect opportunity, but you took it for granted. You thought it was gonna be too easy. You thought that you weren't gonna have to, you weren't gonna have to concentrate or really put in the work necessary, and you blew the layup. Well, here's one thing that I wanna share with you guys. <clears throat> It's not all about just blowing a layup. A lot of times it's, did you put yourself in position to score? All right? Did you run the floor? There's people in the NBA that score a lot, a lot of points. And some people think, wow, they're just a great scorer. Well, yeah, that's just part of it, though. One huge piece of it is they put themselves in the position to score. Right? They put themselves in the position to receive the ball. Now, of course, you've got people like Kobe, Michael Jordan, LeBron James. I mean, these guys are just freaks of nature. I mean, they'll just create their own way to score with the ball in their hands. But some people, instead of running to the ball, you got to run where the ball is going to be at. You got to run to where the ball is going to be. You have to have great anticipatory skills. You have to be strategic in how you move. And it's the same thing in life. Think about football. If you're a wide receiver, you might be able to catch really good, really, really good. You might be one of the fastest guys on the field. You might be quick as hell. But for some reason, you can't seem to be where the ball is when it comes down. You'll see it in the air and you're running. You're like, I got it. I'm wide open. I'm going to get it. But then as it's dropping down, for some reason you, you can't figure out where it's about to drop and you drop the ball, can't score the touchdown and you lost the game. And everybody's looking at you like, bro, we could have won. What happened? Damn, my bad. But you got so much talent and speed and agility, so much of an athlete. But for some reason, you can't seem to be where the ball is. You're not anticipating success. You need to practice anticipation of the the, uh, the anticipatory nature of success. Anticipatory, yeah. You need to anticipate success. It's just an analogy. So, okay, the ball represents success. Where is success going to be? So you can be in the right place to catch it. You can't chase success. You got to anticipate where it's going to drop. And you got to be there just like this. I'm ready. Bye, and catch it. But it's not easy because a lot of times you're also on the move. This is Malcolm Young, Malcolm Talks. Hey, if you ain't scoring no touchdown, there's no need in celebrating. You need to catch the ball first. Concentrate on the catch. Concentrate on the execution. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you blow the layup, you don't win, guys. I'm going to holler at you guys next time. Peace.